It's important to understand the way resources are organized in the Google Cloud platform. In the Google Cloud, resources are organized hierarchically, and so we say that our resources are in a hierarchy. It serves two purposes. Firstly, it establishes a hierarchy of ownership that links the life cycle of a resource to that of its immediate parent. And secondly, it provides attach points for organization policies, access control, and inheritance. Looking at it in a tabular form makes a bit more sense. The structure of Google's cloud resources are similar to that of a conventional operating system's file system, so you could compare it to the way you would store files and folders on your own personal computer. The organization at the top of the hierarchy does not have a parent. This is the root node. As a result, the organization can see and manage all of its resources from a single location. Folders offer an additional organization strategy. You need to have an organizational resource before you can use folders. Projects and resource folders are all mapped under the organization. Within folders, you will find projects. Projects are the logical means of grouping up resources, and so within a project you can group up a bunch of resources together that are all towards the scope of that one project. All projects have a folder as a parent. At the very bottom level comes the resources themselves. So the fundamental building blocks of all cloud services are the resources themselves. Every resource has a single parent. You can specify the parent resources configuration policies and access control rules. The child resources inherit the parent resources settings for policies, identification, and access management.